Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the new VST base amp modeling plugin in Cubase Pro 8. So we'll just go ahead and launch it. This is what the interface looks like. We've got six amp models, four speaker cabinet models, 20 different classic stomp box effects, eight different microphones to choose from, as well as different mic positions on or off axis. Then there's the configuration tab which if you're utilizing a stereo instrument, and I'll just click over to this track here to demonstrate, you can actually choose between mono or stereo signal paths. So for example, if I click stereo here, now it's as if I'm feeding a signal to two different effects processors, amps, microphones, post effects, and then finally to the stereo master section. So a very versatile interface overall. Finally, we have the master section where you've got built-in EQ, tuner, as well as the master level. So getting back to how you create a bass sound with the new VST bass amp plugin, we'll start with a basic tone, pretty much dry, no amps or cabs assigned. And the source material is a fast moving bass and drum groove with a lot of bass notes. So you can really kind of hear the differences in tone as we go through different settings. So we'll start the music playing. I will just check it out for a quick moment. Great, so we'll start off by clicking on the pre-effects tab and then choose your initial stomp box and then keep clicking the plus either after for an effect after the first one or you can insert it before the chain. So we'll just uh, start with a little compressor and a flanger. Now they're both off by default, just click one on. really hear it squash now that I've cranked up the compressor. Uh, we'll kick in the flanger. And remember there's a total of 20 different effects to choose from so you've got lots of sonic possibilities here. And we'll just turn off the flange. We'll leave the compressor for now. And now let's choose our amplifier. We've got six different choices here, ranging from classic models to more modern designs. And you can hear the character change as we choose different models. Then we have uh, four different cabinets to choose from, ranging from a 4x10, 8x10, 4x12, and 1x15. Again, for more tonal variation. Then we can have the same 20 effects available as post type effects after the amps. And of course, further tone shaping capabilities by choosing different mics and mic positions, as you can see by the different circles starting it close to the amp and moving further out or off axis. Now you have a combination of two mics to choose from and you can mix either towards one or the other. So again, a lot of really useful tone shaping abilities. And finally, we've got the master output section where you can do a final EQ, make sure you're in tune and adjust your master level to sit well with all the rest of the tracks. So really cool new amp modeling plugin in Cubase Pro 8, the VST bass amp. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.